Aloha everybody. I'm still in Kona. I should be heading home in about two and a half weeks. So I'll be happy to get back to my studio um, so I can do bigger paintings, bigger pours. Um, today I'm going to try a pearl pour on photo paper. This is Canon photo paper and um, I'll have a picture right here somewhere down here of what the con what this looks like, the package. Um, I don't know if any other photo paper works. I did try a couple other ones that they didn't work as well. So I would recommend the Canon. And then I made a little platform. There's also a video on that. But today I'm going to um, do a red and black pearl pour. And I found this bare satin at Home Depot. Um, this wasn't on sale, but there was a lot of others on sale that, that were this size for 99 cents. So you may want to hit your local Home Depot. They might uh, be getting rid of some of the paints um, and they put them on clearance. Anyway, that's a great deal. So I thought I'd try the bare satin. I do use the bare satin in a lot of my previous pearl pours. Um, a bear that I had laying around that worked. So um, I'm hoping this will work. Um, anyway, I'm using that. And my colors today are Handy Art Red and Amsterdam Black Oxide and a little bit of Golden Bone Black. I mix that with a squirt of Liquitex and some US Floetrol to a thin consistency. Well, it needs to be thinner, but um, I always make my paints just a little bit thicker than my base, so it just seems like that works better. So I'll test, I mean, just sitting around, they thicken up so fast. So the white I'm using is one part bare, this, one part Artist Loft white, a half a part Liquitex pouring medium, a quarter part GAC 800, one and a half parts US Floetrol, and water. So this is what I got. Actually that thickened up a little bit too. So I'm going to add some water to all these and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you the consistency. I don't know if you could see that. It doesn't leave a mound and it doesn't really sink in. I'm about three or four inches above. Okay, and on my colors, I use them. Um, I don't know if I can show you that. It leaves a tiny, tiny mound. It doesn't sink in. It leaves a tiny mound. So we're going to try those consistencies. See if that works, but you know, with pearl pores, who knows? So I'm gonna do a layered cup. I'm gonna put the black in first, then the red. And then the black. And then the red. And I'm just gonna Pour it on. Okay. Cool. All right. I didn't wasn't sure how much of this I needed, so let's just go for it. The surfers are out today. The waves are up. We can see them from our lanai. Okay, yeah, maybe a little in the middle. Okay, let's see what we got. That. 
that's cool, just like that. So if anybody ever wants any pointers on what to do on the Big Island, I have a list of a sheet of things to do that I made for visitors and over the last 10 years I've been coming. Um, my favorite places, my favorite restaurants, where to go, where to snorkel, just favorite beaches, that kind of thing. Anyway, you can email me. My email is down in the des this description. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and any, all of my, my Amazon links are down below. A lot of the materials I use are there. If you click on that and shop for the next couple hours, then I get credit at no additional cost to you. Getting some cells, but I don't really see any pearls coming up. So let's see what we can do here. It's going to go off, come back. paint on here so I might have to really stretch Go this way I might have shouldn't have put that white that extra white in the middle didn't want to lose that red right there. I have to lose some of it. That's a bummer. I just have to get some of this off. Come on, go, go, go. I think that might be enough. I'm a little bummed that I had to get rid of so much red. It's still cool looking. Let's see what happens. I'll let it go. Bring it down, let it go for a little bit. A little time lapse. And we'll see what we end up with. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes and I love it. The pearls really came up. Very cool. A lot of shadowing. So, if you're not getting pearls, I would recommend you want thin paints. Thin paints like you do a Dutch pour on the base. Make your colors a tiny bit thicker, um, like I showed you at the beginning. Um, I think Liquitex plays a key role in this. Um, but bare paints, the bare satin, um, this worked, but there's other bare satins that has a blue label, I mean, um, yeah, a lighter, a different label. So I know that works. And I forgot the label I use at home, but any bare satin might work. So get a sample first before you buy the big one. And just, you have to tilt a lot off. 
So just remember you can't keep your design. If you try to keep it and there's too much paint, then you're not gonna get the pearls. So I think those are the key things. Um, if you're having problems and you need to use the Deco Art Satin, go ahead and put a little bit in the mix. But that's so expensive where the bear is so much cheaper. So, but if you're having problems with the bear, you can always add a little bit of the Deco Art, um, a teaspoon or so, just to help you out with that. I don't know if this is still changing. It might be, so I don't know. When you get too many pearls, I still think it looks cool right now. So at the end, I'll have a dried pitcher for you. And I wish I would have kept more red. I'm out of Liquitex now here and I'm bummed, but I don't want to buy another one. So, I mean, I have this much left. I mean, that's not very much. So I'm like, uh, it's gold, like gold. So, um, who is it? Someone said that Christina, Christina Welch, said you can use glue instead of Liquitex. I haven't tried it, but since I have glue, I might give that a shot and see if that works. Um, you don't really need the GAC 800 in here for it to work. I put it in there so it doesn't crack while drying. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Aloha. Bye.